Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today for Yoga Storytime. My name is Rachel, I'm one of the children's librarians with the San Mateo County Libraries, and today we're going to go on a yoga adventure where the stories that I share with you will help guide the movements that we take with our bodies. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and grab your yoga mat. I've got mine here behind me. If you don't have a mat, that's okay. You can always grab a blanket or a beach towel or a rug, anything that helps give you a comfy place to sit and helps define your space for our program today. So while you're out running to grab those, I did want to mention that I am using two different e-resource sites today to show you some stories for our program. So I'm going to use Access 360 and I'm going to use Hoopla. Both of these are available to you for free with your San Mateo County Library cards. If you're having any trouble accessing any of our e-resources or have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're available. We're here and we're happy to help. You can email us. There's a contact form on our website smcl.org. Scroll down to the bottom. You can get in touch with us there. You can also text us. So we're texting with our patrons seven days a week from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. The phone number to text us is 650-851-0147. That's 650-851-0147. Don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to help. Okay? Did everybody grab their yoga mat or their blanket or their towel? Are we ready to get started? Great. I'm going to scoot back so you can see me. Okay, so I'm here on my yoga mat. Everybody find a comfy seat. So typically when we do this program in the library, we're all sitting in a circle and we take a moment to recognize everybody who's joined us for our yoga story time program. I want to do that here with you too. Even if we're from the comforts of our home, we can still recognize each other and thank each other for coming together for this program. So I'm going to sing a song called Who's Here Today. I'm going to start with me and you'll get the gist pretty quickly. Are you ready? Okay, let's try it. Is Rachel here today? Yes, Rachel's here today. Jump up and down and all around because Rachel's here today. Now I'm going to sing it for my friends. When I say my friends, you're my friends. So go ahead and jump up and all around strike a pose and recognize yourself for coming. You ready? Okay. Are my friends here today? Yes, my friends are here today. I'll jump with you. Jump up and down and all around. My friends are here today. Now, I want to take a chance for you to recognize yourself for coming today. So I want you to shout your name so loud that I can hear all the way in my home here in Pacifica. Are you ready? Is here today? Yes, it's here today. Jump up and down and all around because it's here today. Good job, everybody. Good job. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. So I'd like to open all of my yoga story time programs with a great big OM. And so we're going to do that together by singing the OM song. If you're not familiar with the song, that's okay. You'll learn it pretty quick. Um, but what we'll do is find a comfortable seat, bring your hands to your heart, and we're going to rub our hands together. Ready? Rub your hands, sit up tall, take a deep breath, oh. Good job. Do you want to try it one more time? Do you think you've got it? Okay, let's do it. Rub your hands, sit up tall. Take a deep breath. Oh. Good job, everybody. Good job. I have a challenge for us now. Do you think that we could sing that same song, but rub our feet? Can we rub our feet together? Let's try it. I'm going to turn on my mat so you can see my hands. I'm going to use my hands to help support me so I can bring my feet up and rub the soles of my feet together. Can you do that? Let's try. Should we sing the song again? <laughs> okay, let's try. Rub your feet, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh. Good job, good job. Let's try it one more time, but here's the ultimate challenge. Can we rub our hands and our feet together at the very same time? Shall we try? What could happen? Let's see. 
So lean back, whoa. What happens if you fall back? Whoa. Can you roll right back up? Should we try that one more time too? Whoa. See if you can balance on your seat. Bring your feet up, bring your hands up. If you want, you can still support yourself, but let's try. Rub your hands and feet, sit up tall, take a deep breath. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We still did it. Okay, let's continue to warm up our bodies for our stories. One of my favorite ways to get started is to do TikTok little yoga clock. So our clocks need rewinding. We're gonna stretch out our legs really wide. And can you stretch out your arms really, really, really wide? And we're gonna go side to side. Are you ready? Shall we go? Here we go. Tick tock little yoga clock. Tick tock little yoga clock. Tick. Tuck, little yoga clock, tick tock, little yoga clock, and freeze. <gasps> Can you reach all the way down and wind up your toes? Can you give them a little tickle? Tickle, 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 tickle. And can you come up and wind up your knees? Can you wind up your belly button? <laughs> that tickles. Can you wind up your nose? Bloop, 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 bloop. You can make any sounds that you want to. I like making silly sounds. We're gonna go again, but this time we're gonna go a little bit faster. Can you stretch out your arms really wide again? We'll go side to side. Can we go faster? Okay. Tick tock, little yoga clock. 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 And freeze. Can we wind up our ears? Can you wind up your mouth? Can you wind up your shoulder? Should we go the other way? Good job. Can we wind up our hair? Ooh. Good job. We're going to go one more time, but we're going to go super slow. Here we go. Stretch out your arms really wide. Tick tock, little yoga clock. 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 Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay. We're gonna come through some special sun salutations. I don't wanna give it away, but during these sun salutations, I'm gonna introduce the different animals that you're gonna see in our first story today. Are you ready to play? Okay. Let's come up to stand really tall on your yoga mat and scooch back so you can still see me. Okay, stand really tall, plant your feet into the ground, stretch your arms up high towards the sky and say, hello, sun. Can you forward fold over your legs to touch the ground and say, hello, earth. Good job. Come about halfway up. You can touch your hands on your shins or just above your knees and look around. What do we see? And bow right back down to the earth. We're going to do this two more times. Reach up really high. Take a deep breath in. Hello, sun. Forward fold. Hello, earth. Come up about halfway. Look around. Hello, everybody. And then go right back down. Hello, Earth. Rise right back up. Deep breath in. Hello, Sun. And forward fold. Hello, Earth. Coming right back up. Look around. Hello, friend. And then forward fold. Rise back down. Hello, Earth. Okay, here we're going to come into our first animal pose. Go ahead, keep your feet planted firmly on the ground, but take a big step out. We're gonna become elephants. So take your hands, intertwine your fingers, put your fists together like that, and this is your trunk. You can swing your trunk from side to side. You take some stompy steps too. You can raise your trunk up high overhead and give a great big trumpet. Woo! 
and write that down. So we try that again. Woo! And write that down. One more time. Woo! And write that down. Okay, let's turn to the top of our yoga mat. Looking down at the earth. Hello, earth. Let's step our left foot back. Now you're in your roadrunner pose. Can you give a beep beep? Good job, good job. Let's bring the other foot back and we're gonna lower down all the way onto our bellies. You can use your knees to help you. Put your hands under your shoulders and slither up like a hissy snake. Go and come back down. Should we try that again? And come back down one more time. And come back down. I'm going to scoot back on my mat a little bit. Reach one arm up overhead and roll onto my side. So my lower arm is under me. My upper arm is going to come up over top. And now we're in a crocodile pose. Can you give a great big snap with your crocodile jaws? Go snap. 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 Good job. Let's roll back onto our tummies. We're going to use our hands and our feet to push back up into our downward facing dog pose. Whoop, whoop. Can you give a good whoop, whoop? Whoop, whoop. Lift up your left leg with your doggy tail and give it a little wag. Whoop, whoop. Good job. Set that same foot forward. Now we're in our roadrunner pose again. Can you say beep, beep? <laughs> good job, good job. Let's step our other foot forward. Bow down to the earth, say, hello, earth, and then turn to face me. Can you come to rest on your knees for a second? Maybe sit back on your heels. I've got my toes tucked under to give my feet a little stretch. Okay, can you bring your hands up? These are going to be our paws. Show me your claws. Can you puff out your chest really big? Maybe rise up and give a big, deep breath in. This is going to be our lion pose. You ready? Deep breath in. And maybe a rah. Should we try it again? Deep breath in. Roar. Did you give your greatest, biggest roar? I could hear you. I did. Okay. We're going to go again. Let's stand up really tall. Put your feet out really wide. We're going to come back into our elephant pose. Clasp your hands together. And I'm going to stomp. Good job, good job. We're going to go through our sun salutation one more time, but we're going to turn to the other side of the mat. Go. Good job. Let's bow down and say, hello, Earth. Good to see you again. This time, I'm going to step my right foot back. What pose are we in? Do you remember? Is this our roadrunner? That's right. Say, beep, beep. Good job. Let's step our other foot back and lower down onto our belly. Can you slither up like a hissy snake? Go. And back down. And back down. One more time. And back down. What pose are we coming to now? Do you remember? Can you roll onto your side? Here we go. Bring those great big crocodile snappers up. And give three big snaps. Snap. 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 Good job. Let's roll back onto our bellies. And we're going to use our hands and our feet to push up into our dog pose. Say, whoop, 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 whoop. Raise up your right foot. This is our doggy tail. And give it a good wag. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then step that same foot forward. What pose are we in? Roadrunner. Beep, beep. Step your other foot forward. Fold over your legs and say, hello, Earth. Hello, Earth. We're going to turn our bodies towards our friends. Come down onto our knees. Do you know what we're getting ready for? Our lion pose. Ready? Pop out your chest like a proud lion. Raise up your paws and your claws. Take a deep breath in and go. Good job. Good job. Is your heart beating a little faster? Your breath is going fast too? We warmed up our bodies. 
Are you ready for a story? Okay. So before we start our story, I want to show you a book pose that you can take while we're listening. So bring your feet down onto the floor in front of you. With your knees bent, you can imagine that your legs are the covers of your book. And you can open up your legs to see inside. You might give your feet a little massage, take some care of you. And we're going to get ready to read our story, okay? I'm going to scoot forward so I can get my book started to share with you. Go ahead and sit in your book pose. Maybe think what your book is about. Okay, so the first story that we're reading today, this is The Little Little Girl with the Big Big Voice. And this book was written and illustrated by Kristen Baluch, and it was published by Little Simon. I already see one of our animals there on the cover. Do you see it? Okay, as we move through the book, feel free to take the different animal shapes to your bodies. Thanking. Thanking. Can you come up into your elephant pose while we wait for the page to turn? There it goes. <laughs> there was a little, little girl. Are you stomping about the room in your elephant pose? Oh, with a big, big voice. My goodness, a big, big voice. Look how wide she can open her mouth. One day, she went to find someone to play with. I wonder who she's going to play with today. Oh, she came upon an elephant blowing bubbles in the water. Can you find your elephant pose? Kind of stand up really tall on those feet. Bring your trunk in front of you. Can you imagine what an elephant blowing bubbles sounds like? Let's give it a try. Can maybe like flutter your lips at the same time? Go. Good job. upon an elephant. You can keep stomping around your room like an elephant, blowing bubbles in the water. We wait for our page to turn here. <laughs> Thinking about it. This also looks kind of like our crocodile, didn't it? Go shh. Oh, but something scared the elephant away. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. She came upon a snake swinging in the tree. Can you lower back down onto your bellies? Bring your hands under your shoulders. Push yourself up like a hissy snake and go. Maybe you can wiggle your tail at the same time and swing from the tree. Can you try that? Oh, but something scared the snake away. I wonder what it could be. She came upon a crocodile giggling in the sun. I've never seen a crocodile giggle. Can you come back to your crocodile pose? Pick one side to lay on, bring your lower arm under your body, your upper arm overhead, and give a great big giggle, giggle, snap. Giggle, giggle, snap. Good job. But, but something scared the crocodile away. What do we think that something might be? She came upon a lion roar, rolling in the grass. Can you roll up from your crocodile pose, come into your lion pose? So you can stand on your knees, puff out your proud lion chest. But the lion looked at the little girl. I don't think he's afraid of her, is he? Are you ready? Show me your paws. Take a deep breath in and he roared. Good job, I could hear you. Those are some fierce roars out there. And the little girl looked at the lion. Do you think she's scared? I don't know. And she laughed. I don't think she's afraid of the lion's roar. Are you still in your proud lion poses? Show me your paws with your claws. Should we take one more roar? Take a deep breath in. Shall we do it again? Take a deep breath in. 
And together, she, the little, little girl with the big, big voice and the lion, they played and played until the end of the day. Ah, that's nice. She found a good friend in the lion, didn't she? Good job. And it stopped sharing my screen. Okay, there we are. Hi, I'm gonna scoop back onto my mat a little bit. We're gonna play with a new song. Well, it's, it's actually an old favorite song. Do you know the song, Row, Row Your Boat? Have you heard that one before? Okay, do you remember when we were playing with our own pose at the beginning of singing our own song? We're gonna try that again. We're gonna come into our boat pose. And so just like our book pose, bring your feet onto the floor in front of you. Um, I'm gonna bring my hands behind me to support me a little bit and you can lean back. So your boat pose could be here with your toes touching. It could be bringing your feet up a little bit. It could be bringing your feet up a lot. You can take your hands off the floor wherever you're comfortable. I like to hold on to the backs of my legs too. But we're gonna sing row, row your boat. So I'm gonna need my hands free, maybe like this, to row my boat today. Are you ready? Let's sing the regular verse first. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Shall we mix it up a little bit? Are you ready? Do you remember the snake we saw in our book and the shape that we took with our bodies? Let's imagine we're rowing our boat around the lake and we see a snake. Here we go. Lean back into our boat pose. Row, row, row your boat gently round the lake. But if you see a snake, don't forget to shake. Ah! Oh no, should we try that one one more time? Row, row, row your boat gently round the lake. But if you see a snake, don't forget to shake. Ah! Good job, everybody. Let's try it one more time. This time we're gonna row our boat up the Nile and we're gonna see a crocodile. Row, row, row your boat gently up the Nile. But if you see a crocodile, don't forget to smile. Oh, we don't seem to be afraid of crocodiles, do we? One more time. Row, row, row your boat gently up the Nile. But if you see a crocodile, don't forget to smile. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, now we're going to come into our more cool down point of our program. So let's take another deep breath in. Just like we did with our own song at the beginning, we can practice this with animal breath. Sounds silly, but it's pretty fun. So whenever your exhale, your breathing out, is longer than your inhale, it can help cool you down, help relax you and calm you a little bit. Let's try it with a favorite animal sound, like moo, like a cow. You ready? Let's take a deep breath in. And when we breathe out, we're going to make the animal sound all until our breath is gone. Ready? Deep breath in. Good job, good job. I'm going to share another story with you now, a listening story. Uh, so we're celebrating Mother's Day this weekend, and we're really excited. Mother's Day should be every day, right? But we really want to take a moment to celebrate all the mothers in our lives, or all the people who love us like mothers and take care of us, um, and recognize them. And so I'm going to share a story about a mother. I'm going to come back to the front. You can find your book pose, bring your knees up in front of you, open the covers of your book. I'm going to share our story. This story is called Mama, Do You Love Me? And we're accessing this one through Hoopla. Uh, this is a story featuring an Inuit family who would have lived a long time ago. There are still Inuit families, obviously, but an Inuit family, this is a more traditional form of living that they're showing here in their community. And they would live up in northern Alaska. So you're going to hear some new words that maybe you're not familiar with, but we'll talk about those too. This is Mama, Do You Love Me? This one's written by Barbara Juice, and it's illustrated by Barbara Lovely. And this one is published by Chronicle Books. Okay. Mama, do you love me? Yes, I do, dear one. How much? I love you more than the raven loves his treasure. More than the dog loves his tail. 
more than the whale loves his spout? How long? I'll love you until the umiak flies into the darkness. The umiak is their boat there. Till the stars turn to fish in the sky and the puffin howls at the moon. Mama, what if I carried our eggs, our ptarmigan eggs, and I tried to be careful and I tried to walk slowly, but I fell and the eggs broke. Then I would be sorry, but still I would love you. What if I put salmon in your parka, ermine in your mittens, and lemmings in your mukluks? Then I would be angry. You see this little girl? She put salmon, this fish, in her mama's parka, her jacket. Ermine are these little weasels in her mittens, and lemmings are a type of mouse in her boots. I would be angry too. What if I threw water at our lamp? Then, dear one, I would be very angry, but still, I would love you. Lamps are very important in traditional times. They would use them to melt snow for water, use it for light and for heat and so many different things. What if I ran away? Then I would be worried. What if I stayed away and sang with the wolves and slept in a cave? Then, dear one, I would be very sad, but still, I would love you. What if I turned into a musk ox? Then I would be surprised. What if I turned into a walrus? Then I would be surprised and a little bit scared. What if I turned into a polar bear and I was the meanest bear you ever saw and I had sharp shiny teeth and I chased you into your tent and you cried? Then I would be very surprised and very scared, but still, inside the bear, you would be you, and I would love you. I will love you forever and for always, because you are my dear one. And then in the back of this book, there's all this information here about the different animals we heard mentioned, about what like a more traditional lifestyle in the Arctic is like. Sometimes they don't see the sun at all. Uh, it's very interesting. This is Mama, Do You Love Me by Barbara Jupes. Okay, we are back and we have just a couple more minutes. So to close out our story time here today, I want to come back to our own pose. I'm going to scooch back on my, back to my mat here so you can see my whole body again. You can find a comfortable seat, however you feel comfortable sitting. We're going to sing the own song again, but this time we'll just use our hands. So bring your hands up to your heart and let's start to rub them together get some warm energy you ready rub your hands sit up tall take a deep breath oh good job everybody and now i want to sing another song this is the namaste song and namaste means the light in me sees and honors the light in you. And it's okay if you don't know this song right away either. We'll sing it a couple times through and you'll learn it really quick. Okay? So I'm going to bring my hands back to my heart and we'll sing together. Ready? My little light bows to your little light. Your little light. Your little light. My little light bows to your little light. Namaste. And we'll sing it back. Ready? Your little light bows to my little light, my little light, my little light. Your little light bows to my little light, namaste. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for our first yoga story time. I know I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. I can't wait to see you again next week for yoga story time. Also, don't miss all of the other amazing programs that my colleagues are leading live for you here on our website, smcl.org. And if you haven't had a chance yet to complete your census, please do. It's important that everybody stand up and be counted for all the vital resources we need in our communities, like our libraries, like our schools, our first responders, and our hospitals. Stand up, be counted. I had a great time. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time. I'll scoot forward here. Bye. Have a great day.